It's a big day at Alarm today. We're all meeting in the kitchen for a powwow and lunch because this afternoon the architect will be here. And also, Michael's not here today. He's on his way to Charles de Gaulle Airport to collect his mother who's joining us for Christmas. So Philip and I are going to go and decorate her room for her. We don't usually have wine cheers. at lunch, but cheers. cheers. It's a day of celebration. Cheers. Nearly at the end of the structural work on the chapel Wonderful. and early in the new year. Wonderful. The paintwork's going to be so Starting. Whilst we're waiting for the architect to arrive, Natty and I are doing what Michael has been doing for days and days now because obviously he's in the car getting his mother. So for every single star in the sky, and in total there will be well over 3,000 of them, we have to say rectangle, put the name of the star, and then actually draw the star on. So this is a lovely star. There. And that will become the mouse over area. You see how the cursor changes for that star. It won't look like this. You won't see any of these dots. You'll only see the stars. That's the plan anyway. Of course, Michael's got one major problem here. Neither Natty nor I are web developers. So we're having to be trained up from the very ground up. Uh, but he's been very patient. And we are very willing Christmas star elves. But if you've bought a star, when we finally launch this page, we're hoping just before Christmas, when you mouse over and see your dedication, then do remember that it's not been some web developers and a company somewhere doing it. It's been the Lalanders inputting each one of those stars fueled by mince pies. And not just mince pies for Natty, but Christmas TV. Christmas TV. <laughs> I always know it's Christmas TV <laughs> when that's out by your desk. Yes. Anne Marie got you that. Yeah, you? for our first Christmas. It's so cute. <laughs> and my my Christmas tree as well. It's coming down. Yeah, that's going fast. It's not. A, I'm sharing. <laughs> The entire afternoon has disappeared. I've been in meetings all afternoon. I was with the architect and then the head of the building company was here. And then the local primary school came and I gave them a little tour of the chateau and they sang a Christmas carol for me. And I so wish I could have filmed it for you all, but without all of their parents' consent, that was really impossible. But it was wonderful to see them. But it's a bit of a crisis because it means I couldn't decorate anything today. Luckily, Philip went to decorate Michael's mother's room for her. Michael is nearly here with her, so I'm going to go and see what Philip did. Oh, Philip, it's lovely. I love the garland on the wardrobe. <laughs> We are so happy that you're here. Absolutely beautiful. So I hope you feel Christmassy. Oh, very, very Christmassy. Most important bit's the uh, heater. You have little chocolates and your tea and coffee making station. We'll leave you to settle in. Different. It has, have things changed since you were last here? Yes. Yeah, the wallpaper's the same. Yeah. But yeah, the whole setup of the room is very different in here now. It's and for those of you that haven't seen this room yet, I'll just show everyone your bathroom, which is inside the cupboard. Yes. So we had to be a bit creative with where we could fit shower rooms when we were putting them in without changing the shapes of the bedrooms. This is in between the wall next to the chimney breast of this room and the room next door. But it's such a sweet little room. Right, I'm going to leave you to settle in, Judy, and then we'll see you downstairs for dinner. Um, I got you all these clothes, and this will help you survive minus 20. Thank you. So, uh, we're hoping it won't be needed. <laughs> you've got a cashmere little hat. Oh. Um, you've got... Just to explain to everybody, Michael's mother has arrived from summer in South Africa. <laughs> so, and a bit of a shock. And the last time she experienced my positive 10, or below, was 30 years ago, I think. <sighs> Well, so you've got the thermals. <laughs> Those are long johns. Are really wonderful. Here's a, um, a vest, a thermal vest. Oh, wow. Isn't it pretty? Um, what is that? Lovely. I don't even know oh, what this, these things are. This is a Nikon camera hood. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, there's another pair of long johns. And another pair of long johns. And you, you are, you, are you intending to wear all the long johns I, at once? I did not see anything. Some special thermal socks. 
Ooh. And a a jacket, a goose down gilet. Oh, so you'll be. This is close. an excellent pack, Michael. And meanwhile, Philip has run up to look through Mummy's cupboard. She's given us permission to give you all of her jumpers, so you should be okay. Uh, you think I was here for a month? Unfortunately, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, thank you, thank you. Judy has been travelling for over 30 hours to get here, so we're going to have a very peaceful, calm evening with her. And whilst we have a bite to eat, I'm going to leave you with our Norwegian Christmas celebrations that we actually held at the end of November. Marie's mother came. It was back when Pavlina and Sabina and Hanny were all still here. It was just the most wonderful evening, but it wasn't just about the delicious food. As you'll see, it all started with a Norwegian table decoration. So today I am foraging winter greens with my mum and we are going to decorate a Christmas, a Norwegian Christmas table. So we need a bit of winter. Are you ready? I'm ready. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's go. that there's something very exciting going on in the dining room that my mother is decorating their Christmas table. Green leaf plates. The theme in white, yeah. gold, silver and green. Do you think it'll be enough? I don't know, we'll uh, have to see. Oh, and you put mistletoe on the chandelier as well. Yeah, I'm going to oh, put a little bit more. It's going to be so pretty. It's so nice to have a bit of Norwegian Christmas in uh, France. This Norwegian hasn't done anything for Christmas so far, but uh, I'm glad I have my mother here to do that. <laughs> Have you sprayed the green? Yeah. Added the eucalyptus and yeah. um, that's from the garden isn't it? It is. Oh, yeah oh gosh that looks so beautiful. Enough of the mistletoe. Oh wow I love how it's just standing up like that. Yeah me too so it doesn't get too flat. Yeah yeah yeah. I shall go and get the flowers and when I said I meant going to get the flowers I'm going out to the garden to see if I can find any white dahlias alive so <laughs> here we go. I managed to find a few white dahlias from the garden. I, I think that's not too bad, considered it's quite late in the year. These are the flowers that my mother bought already in La Chat. A bit of um, gypsophilia or bridal whale if you want, and um, some carnations. And I think the dahlias from the garden will work perfectly. Oh my gosh, I go away for one minute. <laughs> And there is so cute. Why is that a reindeer? Oh no, that's a little deer. Deer, yeah. And deer. snowballs and white berries. So I made a little water tube with some flowers and we are going to poke it into the uh, greenery on the table. It's sort of like a little mini bouquet and then we just poke it in like that. 
with uh, napkins going on and glasses. It's looking really beautiful. It's very typical, would you expect, if you come into your home and, yeah. um, and come for Christmas dinner? Yeah. Yeah. It is. Very green. Yeah. The moment has arrived. We're finally going to eat the things that we have been smelling all day and which smell absolutely incredible. So what are these? What What is it all? This is Christmas sausage. Uh, mm. We always serve it uh, next to the meat. It looks like a boudin blanc, like a milk sausage. Yeah, could be, could be. And these are little meat uh, patties uh, that you also serve uh, with Okay, the, I already know I'm meat. going to have to loosen my skirt. Yeah, me too. Everyone usually does after <laughs> Christmas dinner, don't they? <laughs> your dress looks extraordinary with your eyes. Thank you so much. <laughs> We just need to plate everything. Yes. Yes. And, then and how are the carrots prepared? They are kept prepared like Marie does them. So <laughs> mustard, honey, lemon. Okay, my favourite. <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yeah. And this is the slow cooked lamb. Yes, that's a slow cooked lamb. And we also have a pork uh, rib mm -hmm. because that is all, also uh, quite uh, a lot of Norwegians has that for Christmas dinner. Uh, so you get a bit of both. You can just um, take a plate. Can I take something that's not as important? Uh, can I fall into it in this dress? No, this is with you. <gasps> that's the potatoes. Yes. And that's just, just uh, sprinkled over the top. Yeah, just to make it look good. One oh, Brussels sprouts it really is Christmas. <laughs> So it's not that dissimilar from the traditional British Christmas dinner, except that we would have turkey instead of the lamb. Yeah. yeah. But uh, the potatoes and the Brussels sprouts and the carrots, that's very much things we would have as well. Yeah. But then also, of course, uh, melted butter, which you have on your uh, potatoes. Oh, no. That we don't have. That looks great. Yeah, and some parsley in here as well. Mm. Uh, you have that. Uh, so this is something we don't do at Christmas. This no. is very, very new. Yeah. yeah. I love Swede. It's yeah. delicious. And we've got uh, butter and cream yes. uh, in there as well. Salted pepper. And is it just Swede or are there other things with uh, it? We have, you have a few carrots as well. Which, what is the sauce? Um, lingonberry jam. <gasps> so we've really got the full Norwegian experience. Yes, yeah. we do. So this is from Norway. And the aquavit. Yeah, bought in Norway as well. Oh, yes. yes. Red wine because we're in France, so, you know, no messing around. This looks just perfect. Oh, it's Christmas. So happy. I know. <laughs> I'm happy with all these beautiful women around me. <laughs> oh, yeah. In yeah, yeah. Thank, you thank you so you much. I really so yes, thank you. Yeah. I'm so happy. Uh, to it's do completely this. magical. I mean, look at this. Oh, it's it is stunning. Important. It is, it is. Yeah. <laughs> Are we going to sit down and eat then? Okay. Oh, with great pleasure. Thank you so, so much, Cynthia, who sent this to me in Caddo at the Chateau. I, I do feel like uh, a Norwegian ice princess this evening. You're lucky. Always. I really love your white and green theme. It's yes, it's a fairy tale magic. It feels like snow in the forest. Yeah, it does. That's what I wanted to go for. Yeah, it really feels like that, especially with the mistletoe hanging too. Also, I really like the um, name place holders. I made them. Did you made them with your cutter machine? Oh, okay. We must talk more about this machine. You can make anything. I am watching the creation of the perfect plate. Yeah, well, because you know how to do it. Yeah, I'll try. And then some potatoes. Oh. This is almond potatoes. Some carrots. I love Harry's um, carrots. Yeah, they're delicious. And then a sausage. And then a cheese. Some butter. Of course. And the potatoes. Most important bit. And that's delicious with the meat. So you just want to tiny bit of that. And that's wonderful. That is Christmas. Oh, the Brussels sprouts. Yeah. <laughs> this truly feels like Christmas. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Go you. Go you. Our little baby Bambi has absolutely loved the evening. Just keeping an eye on things and staring at the fire. So, is this the Rice pudding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this is looks... rice pudding, but it's, uh, I guess you would call that in English rice. 
like, I know rice pudding from a yeah, it's totally so different looking, warm, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, and we also eat it. And warm. this is much creamier, much less rice, yeah, more cream. Uh, you take the cold uh, porridge, yes. uh, and you mix it with sugar and um, and uh, vanilla sugar, uh, and then you whip up uh, heavy cream and to cream, yeah, and then you mix those two rice pudding. Yeah, and then you serve it with the. Uh, Berry sauce, cold berry sauce. Mm. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> and there's an almond in here. Yeah. And the one who finds the almonds get a prize. And it's a marzipan cake. A Norwegian marzipan cake. Right, so this is a big prize. It's a yeah. lot a lot to win here. Yeah, it is a lot to win. But and there's you're not allowed to scoop around and okay. try to find no, it. No, you have to just no. take your scoop as you just take your scoop and put it in there and then oh. And no one can stop eating until the almond is found. No. And then this is a berry sauce, uh, made of blueberry and raspberry. Mm. And you put that on there. Um, Oh, that looks That's good. It. Okay, I'm going to follow your lead. You do that. Congratulations! Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. I never got it. Is this is seriously the first time you ever got yes. the almond. Amazing. Oh, this is a beautiful moment for everyone to be part of. You le marzipan? Almost. <laughs> you le marzipan? Oh, okay. You le marzipan? You le marzipan? Yes, Stephanie is very good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh. Oh.